Prayer is the solution to your NoFap and semen retention journey. That's what we're going to talk about in this video, man. You're forgetting that it's a spiritual battle. This is why you keep relapsing over and over again because you're trying to deal with it physically, where well, it's actually a spiritual battle, which is why you have to turn to God, to nature, whatever you believe in, because that's the solution. Now, before you do that, make sure to smash the like button, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and join the family. The channel's all about self-development and becoming the best version of you. And comment down below, let me know what you get from the video. Now, a lot of people are on this NoFap journey, semen retention, trying to master self-control. But like, what people are forgetting, what I was forgetting on my journey, it's only till recently I realised that the true, the true battle is spiritual. You know, it's a spiritual attack on men you understand that that's why people are addicted to porn that's why people can't hold on to their seed that's why people like are lusting over females because they're they're thinking they're not understanding where it's coming from the source of everything is spiritual now some of you guys may not believe in god you don't believe in i don't know what you believe in you have your own beliefs and i'm just all expressing my own but everything's spiritual whether you believe you're spiritual or you don't label yourself a spiritual you're a spiritual being you understand so like you look at loss, look at all of them things as the devil's work and that. In the sense that, like, things happen spiritually before they happen physically. You feel me? So, like, a lot of people, for example, the people who don't believe in God, I think the main reason behind that is because they don't see God in that. You know what I'm saying? They don't see the physical form of God, so they cannot believe in it. You understand? So, it's like, but if you're someone who follows a religion or your spiritual person you understand that the devil is not a physical being the devil works through people god works through people it's not a it's not an object it's not something physical you understand now when you're struggling to hold on to your seed and you're struggling to like like you know you keep you keep watching them dirty sites where you know you shouldn't be doing it and you're doing it over and over again you need to understand there that you need to increase yourself on a spiritual level because once you increase yourself on a spiritual level physically you'll increase yourself as well you feel me so this why that once you i've experienced this many many times in my life once my spiritual my spiritual connection with god when i stop when i'm not praying consistently and that things are not happening the way i want it and i'm struggling so if you're struggling you need to seek like a, a, from a source outside of yourself and that ideally god and that like understand that it's all spiritual it's all psychological warfare going on it's a spiritual warfare why do you think there's like so many like every for example rap video you see naked females tv program you'll see females are basically pretty much naked like everywhere you go bro even summertime let's not even get started with that one like yo <laughs> summertime is mad you know so all you see is them you get me them beauty shorts you've seen all of them things like, and as you can see over the years like 30 years ago you didn't see that much of that now they're pushing that agenda out there to to get men to stay at the lower self and that social media you scroll down bro there's no way you're gonna scroll down like a timeline without seeing a female with pretty much half naked and then you're gonna get aroused and then you're gonna go back on them sites and that and then you repeat the cycle over and over again you understand so make sure you do your prayers man you understand make sure you do your prayers man pray pray to god man ask for forgiveness ask for guidance ask for strength in order to overcome this because this is not something that you're going to just overcome by itself. You can do. I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's a spiritual battle. So it's very important to have that connection with God and that repent and to, to understand that the devil is just trying to get you back at your lower self. Everyone knows what the devil's job is. You know what I'm saying? So when I say the devil, like again, I'm not talking about some, yo, one guy with horns and that. Like, this is, that's a different subject in itself and that. The, the, the image of the devil and God. That's not, we're never going to get into that. We're talking about no fab and semen retention. You need to turn to prayer, bro. You understand? If you're in an environment where there's females or you're in an environment, or let's say you're even watching videos, go to prayer. Ask God for, ask God for guidance. Ask God for forgiveness and that. And you, like, huh, it's, it's crazy, man, because like, it's like, I feel like a lot of people follow religion, but they don't really understand it. Like, they, and it goes for all religions. Like, let, let's say, let's talk about Christianity, for example. Like, if you're a Christian watching this, it says, ask God and he, no, what, what does it say? I said, ask God and he shall, basically, if you ask, you'll get. You understand? Every religion has the same concept, like, in a sense that, whatever you ask God, if you truly repent, you, you will, you will. 
he will answer your prayers and that but people who are so caught up in the physical realm that they're not they're forgetting that it's actually the spiritual realm that you need to be worried about and think about you understand so if you're on this no fab journey the semen retention journey you're struggling i'm telling you but go to prayer man make your prayers man, on a daily basis ask for forgiveness on a daily basis of course the prayer itself is not just gonna do something for you if you don't physically act but trust me but i'm telling you man turn to that turn to that bro that would definitely help you on your journey because it's like bro that that like that, that's reality bro the spiritual like sp like beings we're all spiritual bro we're having a physical human experience but we're all spiritual beings and that you know so i'm not here preaching and that about like I don't, the video's not here to preach about some religion or anything like that i'm just saying we're all spiritual beings and that you understand so do the things of course and that. make sure you limit your time on social media make sure you stay occupied working out all of them things but make sure you add prayer to your routine and that man because without prayer and that without connection with god without that understanding of the fact that it's a spiritual battle man you're gonna keep going around in circles over and over again man like me personally I, bro then like i said in the last video like I'll, I'll beat the case long time ago i don't there's no way i can watch porn again in my life like i said if i could choose death or porn i choose death like i'm i'm that i'm that serious about it like there's no chance but i'd rather die i'd rather see that, that's another thing it's like your perspective has to be strong on it bro you can't let it slide like yeah it's okay uh, yeah, it's not too bro for me it's it's the worst one of the worst acts you can do in, in, in as a human being as a man see see my thinking is different my thinking is different. If I have a look at it, it's not, it's not too bad. Uh, yeah, it, it's na it's natural to do once a week. Uh, as long as you don't do it too often. Uh, if I look at it like that, then I'll still be doing it. But the fact that I look at it like it's a, as a major sin, I look at it as something that is a mental disorder. I look at it as like I will not progress in my life unless I do it. The fact that I view it like that is the fact that I was able to stop and not do it at all. You know what I'm saying to you? Because if you think something's okay, then there's a chance of you doing it. If you think murder, like say murdering someone, it's not too bad and that, then when opportunity presents itself, you'll do it. But if you look at it like, yo, there's no way in there, no way I could do that, then you would never, you, you're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. You understand? So it's the most, the, the most important thing I'll say is perspective, man. You you gotta change your perspective on it, cause like, like I said in the last video, you're at, stop acting like you're you don't even know what's happening, like you're being possessed and that, bro. You know exactly what you're doing, bro. You know what I'm saying to you? So that's the main message in the video, man. Make sure you turn to prayer, forgiveness, you know, because it's a spiritual war, man. And unless, you got, unless you're spiritually strong or spiritually in tune in that, man, you're going to struggle. You will struggle because this is a, lot, it's a big force against you. So you have to go with the opposite force to fight it. You understand? So that's, that's the message of the video. Turn to your religion, turn to your beliefs in that, man, and use that as a means to overcome the loss, overcome the the habitual thinking and that, you understand? And of course, do the physical work as well, like by working out and mindset improvement and limiting your time on social media, but turn to the spiritual, man, your spirituality, because that is ultimately what's going to help you on this journey and that, man. I appreciate you watching the video to the end. If you bought your value, smash that like button, man. Remember, hit the link in the description to connect with me, social media, Patreon, Discord, all of that. You know, go check it out on that. Uh, yeah, man, stay strong.